Hey what's going on guys, today I'm going to be covering 50 things only old players know about Roblox. And make sure to like the video in the next 5 seconds or else your Roblox veteran batch will be revoked. One last thing before we start, I want you guys to keep track of how many you got right. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys my scoring system to see how much of an OG you are. Also guys, it's worth mentioning that this video is inspired by IP Activate Minecraft. Without further said, let's get right into the video. Every time you respawn, there used to be this colorful aura around your character. This is what the first ever Roblox characters looked like. They had no style, no variation, yet never had any hats, and they all looked very plain and basic, but that's the way it was back then. This is the first ever textures they had in Roblox. Very simple, looked a lot like Lego, but as the game evolved guys, obviously Obviously the textures got better and more unique and more stylish. There's nothing more iconic than the Happy House released in 2007 from Roblox. And honestly, as old veterans guys, this house is iconic and always going to be a part of Roblox. Another famous structure guys is the tower, which was famously added in Survivor Disasters and something that we always climbed when we were younger. The good old currency of ticks, something that we all used and saved up as players in which we would convert into Robux. And we would just buy so much clothing of this, so much stuff, and it had so much value. And if you're a really old player, this really hits home with you, um, especially if you had a lot saved up, and when they removed it, they removed all your ticks as well. So RP to ticks. If you put a lot of obbies back in the day, you would notice that these blocks look very familiar. And these are the blocks and particles that many builders used in the early games of Roblox. And you know, they all look pretty much the same, but that was the beautiful part of Roblox back then. I feel like every player knows about this game, just not every player knows about its origin. And to all the old heads out there, this is a place where all of us would go when we were bored and just, you know, play some PvP and just sort of fight every random person. It was so much fun. It doesn't seem that much fun now compared to all the other games, but back then this was the shit. And it was amazing parkouring. And if you had friends to play back then it was even probably even funner i would say but it was awesome iconic and amazing the bowling alley was a game for the cool kids and for the kids who just wanted to chill out after playing a really hardcore game or maybe having a rough day in the real world you know if especially if you had friends or you just wanted to talk to random people you know and who remembers when you said who talks and you would just get random people to talk it's like i do i do but you know it's, it was really fun and a very simple game where the community can come, all come together and just meet and talk and chill out after whatever stress they had before and personally guys this one does i feel this one in my heart for sure and i do have a lot of memories of this game it's no longer available but you can play on the nostalgia game released in 2006 is the next haunted house or should i say haunted mansion now this mansion guys was very iconic and this was actually implemented into a bunch of games Stroud disasters escape the house there was tons of games that use this structure and if you played any of those games i feel like you're qualified you don't have to exactly play this exact game but there was a lot of other games that use this map in their game if that makes sense when we were younger guys this was actually kind of scary i'm not gonna lie especially going to the basement or going to the top floor all by yourself being very young i mean gave me the chills i'm not gonna lie but looking back at it now it's nothing but a nice good memory that we all like to see and it's really nice to come back and just explore and see how iconic and nice this house was one of the first ever cars ever implemented into Roblox, and it was very functional, and as a Roblox scene, we all loved using this car. The famous old glass tower, using a lot of business games, and just using a lot of games in general. And it was so fun just blowing this thing up and seeing it go in smithereens. Very nice. There's nothing better than seeing the old signs that were used in Roblox, and pretty much in every single game you saw, you would see these kind of signs advertising items, places, and just advertising pretty much anything you would think of. The good old gift card that we all love and used to wish to get for Christmas morning, and even in-game, it'd be so fun just using this thing and just wishing that you had one in real life this item was an item of gold in game and in real life back then everyone used rockstar or shaggy but rockstar was kind of the better version of shaggy and rockstar was pretty much a sign that i'm richer than you because this item can only be bought through robux on the other hand shaggy was pretty much the cheaper version of this and kind of the broke version of this but either way both items are very iconic and something that everyone used to use every boy used to use and even some girls actually too the underground war was one of the best pv games of all time especially back then on roblox and for one simple reason because it was captured the flag you were given a sniper and a sword and with that sword not only can you kill the opponent but you can dig underground and every time a round ended you would have to redig and redig and that got really annoying for us but it was really well worth it especially in late game where all the tunnels were digged out and you can freely just walk to your enemy's base underground and slay them as you go there's also a lot of trash talking and a lot of fun that came into this game especially if you killed an enemy over and over and over again another amazing feature was the towers that were designed so that you couldn't easily cheat and jump over the wall but you can snipe people that were on the other towers overall 
this game just added so much innovation and so much creativity for other developers to follow up. And it was really the setting stone of PvP games on Roblox. Super iconic and fun. The Roblox headquarters was always seen in the trailers of Roblox, but it was also a place where all of us went just to kill each other, to have fun, and just to destroy the building. And you're seeing it blow up into a million pieces. Truly a nice game and a throwback for sure. Rocket Arena was a fellow competitor of the Underground War. And the thing about this game introduced a lot of explosions and buildings. So if anything, this is this was the thing that Fortnite copied. This was the game. But it was awesome. You can build cover, you can shoot your enemies, you had teams. And overall, it was just a lot of fun having just pretty much to blow up each other in this arena. And it was infamous called the Rocket Arena for its reason, because of its rockets and buildings. Telemon was infamous for the fried chicken item he always used to held. But not a lot of people remember how we actually really look like. This is how it looks like now, but this is how we looked a long time ago. Very different. And only some will remember that. The very first Survivor Disasters was probably one of the best games of all time on Roblox. And I'm saying of all time because this game was so creative and it was just something that none of us really played before. It's like Survivor Disasters, you can buy items to help you survive them and you just you can kill so much time playing this game and when we were young this would just be so amazing you just keep wondering what, what would the next disaster be would it be harder would it be easier what would it be and the original map of course was the infamous happy house that we covered a little bit earlier in this video and and the original game itself actually is, is much different they updated the maps updated the items updated disasters but the original one is a game that only some can actually say i played the good old three musketeers i'm talking about the tools that we used to have in the game guys we used to have the move tool which obviously move blocks we would have the delete tool and the copy tool and these tools were very nice because they were pretty much in every single game we used to have in roblox and they would just be in your starting kit all the time and they were just a nice feature all right guys the next one is the music so if you guys recall there's an old roblox theme have a listen And there's one more I want you guys to hear, and this one's gonna really give you guys some real nostalgia. I think all of us remember the good old tools that I used to have. Paintball gun, you know, the slingshot, the rocket, the bomb, the hammer, and of course the sword, guys. And these were all weapons that were pretty much in every PvP game of Roblox, and it's truly something that we always used to love having. The good old Roblox logos that all of us remember. Good old Heli Wars that a lot of us also remember, and it was definitely one of the best military style games back then for sure. And a lot of the memory you guys have is playing the game, but also with the skits that came along with this game. Because I do remember seeing a lot of videos and skits that were made in this game. And guys, I also remember the servers being super packed and chaotic and is a lot of fun but sadly now the game is a ghost town good old limited speech guys a big part of roblox's communication system and definitely a good memory that we all used to have the og builders club and i remember guys only getting builders club and i really wanted obc tbc but i was stuck with bc build to survive the zombies was definitely not my favorite game of all time especially back then and i put this game on the list because it's definitely a game that all of us tried and i mean all of us even if you don't like zombies this is a game that everyone tried and we played for a couple hours some loved it some hated it but old and iconic game for sure zombies attack mcdonald's now i want to play the trailers for some nostalgia but beware it's really loud <laughs> I know some of you guys definitely love that trailer and I personally do love it and it really gives me that energy when I was younger just about killing zombies and the joy of doing it um but the game now is so much different and it has evolved so much since the original but if you play the original you can definitely agree with me that it was awesome and behold the blocker cap guys something that is not available in stores anymore but only some have like myself and of course we have the old hip-hop music that everyone listened to and everyone loved hearing
vending machines were really nice because they were pretty much every game and every game you made you would always have these in your place and there's something about them it just gives that nostalgic feel to it just having snacks eating these cookies drinks it's something that virtually we really enjoyed having there was something about skateboarding back then that was just so special and so fun and relaxing that all of us could really experience and just chilling out and doing tricks killing some time was always fun zombie apocalypse was one of the first games to successfully inspire another successful game and this game pretty much inspired its mechanics off cod zombies with its own creative twist with its own map zombies weapons and all kinds of stuff and i remember this game just being so much fun and i used to wake up early in the morning just to play this game that's how fun and addicted i was to this game we can't forget about the dynamic duo of blocks cola and the chess burger two iconic items that will always be remembered as roblox everyone back then had those pants with the chain pants with the pants sagging pants with the shoes pants with the nice kicks rip pants pretty much all kinds of pants just to look cool we also can't forget about the notorious heads that were free and that no one used as the roblox catalog evolves there were items that were sacred and they were just items that everyone used and everyone wanted to have in the 2012 era that was the golden era for roblox skits and videos and i'm going to show you guys one of my favorite skits that i ever found on youtube There's no doubt in my mind guys that obbies are just probably one of the best and the most iconic games of Roblox history. And the reason being is because they're just so simple to make yet so fun. It utilizes Roblox's normal mechanics like jumping, walking, but yet they were all so unique. And I know all of you guys remember the world's biggest obby. And just completing every single obstacle was so fun and so fulfilling and was definitely a wonderful feeling. The OG faces of 2011 all the way to I guess 2016 and even before that. These are the faces that everyone loved using. The OG hard hats. These were indicators to show that if you had a Builders Club membership, and if you have at least one, then you are qualified for your veteran badge. Who remembers when the VIP used to be on t-shirts and you would have to buy these t-shirts for insane amount of ticks, but nowadays you just look at the store and you buy it with Robux. Work at the pizza place is very popular nowadays, but not a lot of people remember how it actually was back then. And back then, it gives me insane nostalgic vibes of playing this game and just getting insane flashbacks of before. And I, th I, I don't know guys, I think this is my first game I played on Roblox. I think it is. I can't exactly say that for sure, but this was definitely one of my first games on Roblox and a true, true throwback for me and for a lot of people as well so obviously roblox guys updated the website over the years and there was three main years where they changed the website drastically the first one being 2006 the next one being 2009 and then the last one being 2011. So if you fit with any of these categories or maybe at the start of these years or in between these years, then you're definitely qualified for a veteran status. Before all the disturbing Lego packages and morphs that came to play, there was actually a lot of nice morphs that were in the catalog, such as Robloxian, Muscle Body. Now obviously there's still in the catalog, but nowhere near as used as back then. If you remember these next two trailers, then you are definitely OG. But I'm gonna show you guys a little sample of both these clips, so enjoy. Alright guys, so on a number 3 spot is something that only true veterans will know, and that is the Roblox Classic Viking Helmet. Now the thing I don't like is it's not really that rare because you can buy it right now in the catalog off someone and it's really not that rare. This item should honestly be not buyable in 2020 and it should be a gift to the veterans to show the dedication and how long they played Roblox for. But if you did buy this hat a long time ago, it truly represents how old of a player you are. Coming in at number 2 spot is Chaos Canyon, or how I like to say before, Chaos Canyon. Now, now the reason why this gets a number two spot is because this is one of the first ever games to be on Roblox and one of the first ever games to ever be on the website. I did play this game as I guess like a couple years after it came out. I did like around four years after it came out I played it so I'm not a super super like high tier veteran or anything but I have played this game back in its old days so around 2010 ish. But yeah guys my memories of this game are very faint um, but I had to put it on the list because it's a very ancient game and if you have played the game a long time ago um, then you are honestly i don't know what to say to you man you like you deserve 
a gold medal. Um, but this is a definitely an OG game. And the reason why this gets the number two spot once again is because you cannot play this game ever again. You can't really claim you play this game because it doesn't exist anymore. Um, it only exists on remakes and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, very deserving of the number two spot. All right, guys, at number one, if you made it this far, thank you so much. But at number one, guys, we have it is the red baseball cap. Now, why does this get number one spot? Because, guys, this was the first ever hat to make it on Roblox. And if anything, this is probably the most OG red veteran thing out there but this is by far the most strongest piece of evidence someone has of being a veteran whatever it is guys this is the number one spot all right guys that's it that was the list and let's see how you guys did so i want you guys to grab your number and divide it by 50 and that should give you a percentage and with that given percentage i want you guys to look at my chart all right guys that's it that's my list hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe like and comment down below your rank anyways guys i'll catch you next time for the next video peace out